welcome back. In this segment, I will be taking care of my favorite of Sander Cohen's former disciples, Martin Finnegan, as well as a the first big daddy of Fort Frolic. I do skip this cutscene, even though it contains one of my favorite lines of the game. And this battle essentially hinges on you not knowing which one of these frozen people is Martin Finnegan. That's him. The last one on the left. During a regular run, you can just hit him in the head with a crossbow and that'll take care of him. But that's not allowed in this run, so I sort of melt these oxygen tanks. You have to make sure to melt the ice and not the tanks, otherwise it'll blow up. And I just throw it at him. That was bracing. Take a photo of him and place it in the quartic. <laughs> I'm feeling full, like an expectant mama. Frozen Field is... it freezes enemies if you use your wrench sometimes. And... it's kinda useful. The only problem is you can't loot enemies that you shatter. But at this point, you really don't need to be, you know, it's not essential to loot everybody. And I do remember to switch Security Bullseye back in, as opposed to the end of Neptune's Bounty. Or a Smuggler's Hideout. And if you come back to the atrium at this point, there will be a big daddy waiting for you, and he'll battle, he'll battle a few splicers, and then you can take care of him. Also, if you're doing a run twenty you run. You want to make sure that you do take pictures of the bouncers, the Big Daddy bouncers. Because both of their special bonuses are directly related to your wrench. Pretty sure the little, the little sister will always go for that body right there. Which is convenient since it's really close to the camera.
as you're running around avoiding the stream of flying bullets and exploding bots, you want to try not to go into that area that I just looked at to the left, because a few splicers will spawn if you go in there. <laughs> During a normal run, you can explore that area and get a weapon upgrade station, but that is quite irrelevant in a run run. And of course, the big daddy has to die in that area, so I do have to go in there. <laughs> I just sort of let natural camouflage hide me. All the splicers duke it out amongst themselves. And then I just kill whoever's left. You want some of this? Oh look, no textures. Anyway, that's the end of the segment, so I'll see you guys next time.